Hello everybody and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna I'm gonna show you how I created uh, these wires and and uh, this tube in GIMP. Anyway I've been trying to get this done uh, for a short while now uh, but just kept running into issue after issue getting this done. So anyway I'm gonna go kinda quick uh, so if you have any any questions please feel free to ask so anyway I'm gonna open up a new image doesn't really matter what size uh, also uh, you need to make sure that you have your um, path tool dialog open uh, you can click here and go add tab and then find your paths and open it there and then also under windows you can uh, dockable dialogs and find your path dialog there also. So anyway let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna create a new transparent layer first on top of my background. I'm just gonna grab my path tool and I'm gonna click and I'm gonna just drag out a simple path here. I apologize if I go too fast uh, but I really am limited on my time. So anyway, I'm going to click my foreground color and I'm going to change that to a nice dark red color. And then in my um, paths dialog, I have a roll of icons uh, down here at the bottom. And uh, the next to the last one is paint along path. So I'm just going to click that and um, it's going to open up our stroke path window here. And I'm going to uh, use a solid line color but I am going to change the line width to oh, probably 35 or so and then I'm just going to click stroke and that strokes that line so uh, now I'm going to create another new layer on top of that a transparent layer and then I'm going to go and I'm going to change my swap my foreground and background color around so that my foreground is white and I'm gonna click uh, on this stroke style again and this time I'm gonna turn the line width down to probably about I don't know about 10 and stroke that again and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change my tool up here so it hides uh, the path tool and then with a this white line that we just created uh, selected. I'm going to go up to filters. I'm going to go blur and Gaussian blur. And I'm just going to, let's see, I'm going to set that probably to about 10 and blur that line. As you can see, we're starting to get a, a little bit of a wire. Um, there so I'm going to just turn down the opacity a bit and that looks pretty good there I could also use my move tool and and use it to move the active layer if you don't like the way way that highlight uh, is placed but I'm gonna leave it kinda I guess right there in the center now I'm gonna create another new layer another transparent layer and I'm gonna open my stroke dialog again uh, with I'm going to use the same path and uh, this time I'm going to turn the, oh before we do that let's go back to our path tool again and in our uh, paths dialog I'm going to just click the little eye out beside this path so I can show that path and then I'm going to with this path showing I'm going to hold my alt key I'm just going to click on that path and I'm going to keep my alt key let's see selected and I'm just going to move this path kind of the to the upper edge of this wire here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another highlight so I'm just going to kind of move these these nodes a little bit to just kind of get this path set up just 
a little bit on the outside edge there and there we go so now I'm gonna stroke this again with my white color and this time I'm only gonna set my line width to about two and let's go ahead and hide that path again as you can see there we've got our white highlight there and we just need to go ahead and blur that but this time uh, we really don't need to blur it that much maybe probably about four let's see what it looks like yeah and that looks pretty good and I can use my move layer tool to kind of move that and if I don't you know don't want all that highlight showing I can always grab my eraser tool and grab a very soft eraser and just kind of erase a little bit of it so anyway that's how you create a wire in GIMP uh, also I could go to my background layer and create a new layer on top of that and I could grab my paths tool again and I'm just gonna begin to click and control to click to close that path and now I'm gonna hit enter on my keyboard to create a selection from that path I could also just uh, go up and right click uh, on that path and create a selection that way uh, I'm gonna have my path tool again and this time I'm gonna grab my blend tool or gradient tool and I'm just gonna find a, a gold or copper looking uh, gradient and I'm just gonna let's see here I need that to linear just going to drag a, in a gradient in there to kind of give that a look of wire. I'll tell you what, I'm going to deselect that and I'm going to uh, grab my path tool again. And I'm just going to click on this path and, and make that a bit bigger, I think, so you can see it better. and maybe we don't need to make it exactly rectangle well let's do it like this okay that'll work so now add that path grab my blend tool or gradient tool and there we go now you've got a uh, decent looking wire. Remember you can change the color of this, these wires. You can uh, grab your original, your base layer, your red one, and go to colors and go to colorize and then you can just mess around with the hue, the saturation, the lightness. Maybe, maybe you want a green wire. Green uh, electrical wires are pretty common. Anyway, uh, that's about it for creating wires in GIMP. Uh, do plan on later on doing a, something more advanced and and uh, go a little bit slower and uh, be a little bit more thorough. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please do so. And just remember, I've got some more. Uh, GIMP tutorials coming up. I don't know when they'll be out, uh, but they're going to be a little bit more advanced and a lot more fun. So we'll see y'all later. Have a great day.